Tonight, this is a current view of the Tennessee River. The color of the water is now brown from its previous clear color. Many of you are curious whether that water is clean and safe to drink from. You asked, so we got the answer for you. Reporter Maria Guzman takes us inside KUB Waters plant on how operators there are treating and cleaning your water. This is water taken directly from the Tennessee River, while this water is taken from our faucet. I'm going to show you how KUP operators take this dirty water and make it drinkable. It's one of East Tennessee's beloved rivers, the Tennessee River. But this is where our drinking water starts. A key natural resource for people in parts of Knox, Sevier, and Jefferson County. Uh, this is our source water. It's, Chris it's Thomas has worked for KUB for two decades. He says this is the most significant change he's seen regarding the river's turbidity. Turbidity measures the water clarity. It's the mud, it's the dirt that's suspended in the water. Thomas says despite the large amount of turbidity in the river, their finished water quality remains the same. What we see are trees and logs. That's because of six major steps of water treatment. One step includes the clarifier stage. It is a key part of our water treatment process because this enables us to remove that turbidity. This is where 95 to 98 percent of the mud and debris from the water is removed. Treatment in this stage takes the water quality from muddy to clear. The water then moves to the next step, the filter gallery. And then the filters add that final polish to the water, much closer to being potable. And KUB say after the water filtration process happens, the water continues to undergo some more chemical treatment and then it's ready for customers to drink. Again, leaders at KUB say although the water from the Tennessee River is darker, the treated water is safe to drink.